First possession of the game. Thank you for being with us. The Thunder took down the Jazz a couple of days ago. A little behind the back pass from Giddy. There is SGA. First shot. Wasted no time. Beats the buck. Couldn't really get back. Let's get a good look at that point blank shot at the rim. Giddy spinning using his size and then. You know, there's no shame in my game. <laughs> <laughs> Kessler. Oh, and then he spun on Jalen Williams. Good job of recovering from that because they got those 27 what, uh, fast break points, 32 points off turnovers, and they were knocking down a lot of those for J. Dove. Giddy, he'll tee it up from the outside. Fouls. I'm, I'm just happy that I'm still functional from all of the not call and, you know, flicking ones and twos. And just one foul called. SGA, boy, just totally detached. Horton Tucker leaned into that one. Getting another rebound. Shea open, pulls the trigger, and knocks down the three. Of sending him to his teammates because well, that's a nice block to top of Shea. That's why that six foot 11 wingspan is to his advantage. And he's going to take it all the way to the other end. And freshly inserted into the game. Shea already with 11. What a ball fake. As the defense, second consecutive time against the Jazz. It's the Thunder opening up a massive lead over Utah. There's the first three. But the beauty of Aaron is his readiness. He doesn't always get that many looks each night, but when he does, he's ready to transition. And right out of the timeout, the Thunder go over the top. All the while playing great defense as well. As J-Dub runs into traffic, tough shot, he was falling. The defender have built out another double-digit lead here in the first quarter. Mismatch, Isaiah Joe, Damian Jones. That's a tough step back three, not a problem. Wow. That's tough to do. So five first quarter threes help swell out the lead. And that's something that Will Hardy said that they really fed off of. Because everybody was thinking they were going to be a high lottery team as Usman combined the experience plus the tangibles like the length. It leads to all those steals. Six foot 11. This guy's got three inches more and about the same size. Just an incredible advantage as Juzang at that size. And how about J Dub once again twirls around inside, got his own miss, and then powers it down. Jazz get a rare transition opportunity. It's Kessler finishing it off. He's got a couple of made baskets. Shea missed the first one, sticks with it, and the second one goes in. All he had to do was just turn. Still have to go a lot of finish there. Clarkson just scooped it outside to a And it was Phoenix ultimately taking down Dallas. Again, one shot from Kevin Durant. Dallas could not answer from Luka Dachin. Plenty of. And he's got the last seven points for the Thunder. As Dunn finally pulls the trigger from deep. Larry Markman collided in the first game in Salt Lake City against the Thunder and broke his nose. Dort goes right by and right to the cup. J Dub back out to Giddy, a little jab step, space on the three. That one had some arc to it. Wow. Utah just has not been able to put any kind of pressure because the Thunder have just played so well against this Utah team. As Jay Little Williams from the outside. Damian Thunder has really done a good job of that. Shot 44% from downtown in that first quarter. I mean, excuse me, first half of basket with his skill sets. Three point shot fueled the Thunder in the first quarter, helping them build out the lead. Horton Tucker, just 27% in both quarters from the field. Oh, Shea read the play perfectly. Jumps the passing lane. Horton Tucker, easy call. That's going to be for that deep Utah team. Now he's got the steal. But every game that he's played in this year, that's 61. He's been a starter. and that It worked out well for Shea. It worked out great. <laughs> that's what I, I was sitting here. I said, there's no way that pass was going. It indeed announced the starting lineups for OKC. 13-point game, done, open outside, it's now a 10. Got in deep in the interior, Wiggins had that one. Punched away, Shea able to dive for it. There is Isaiah Joe, beats the shot clock. Miss in, but SGA already 32 points in the game. 
Now the switch on to Clarkson. Fears right, pulls up, and SDA sticks. SJ Dub attacks. Dishes outside Jang. The three on the way, and that one drops in. And this one, you thought that there was a little vulnerability, Michael. It was the Thunder pushing right back on the Jazz. And we were looking at that play as Juzang floor with the shot clock winding down. One of the biggest plays of the game so far. Absolutely. And, and, and you can go back to that play. Oh, that's a nice little move that time by Jay. Put a, put a lot of body like, contact like that. Now, Mike, we've talked so much about the offense of Jalen Williams and, and his ability to dictate things with his length. So he's starting to get another 20 point game for him in five out of the last six games. With those 22 points. Looking for more, and he's got more. Jalen Williams from the outside. And late in the season here, because they know he loves to drive and finish. You just saw that moments ago. He is just fine with the ball in his hands as Horton Tucker just washed it out with the block. Juzang again. Boy, he has been able to shoot going back to his door. Bounces off of Fontecchio. SGA comes back into the game. Feeds it down to the corner. Josh Giddy, open three. Using the big body of Walker Kessler. Ball pops right back to him. Mark resets at 14. Kessler will throw it down. And he was asked after the game, you know, he faced so many good offensive players, so many different offensive players. There from Jalen Williams. My goodness. Sometimes I think he's a new player. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. We have not seen that from him. Okay. Yeah, we're talking since the beginning of January. Yeah. He is really unlocked. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Aspects of his game. There's the boom from the outside. Nope, they're going to pull it. And the turnaround was short. Now he's trying to sneak behind Walker Kessler. He's calling for it. Didn't get it. Done. Off the dribble. And he's got the blow. One more bucket from Oklahoma City. Might seal this one. Giddy on the lob. And Jalen Williams inside. Just a marvelous, marvelous performance. And he's got three more, make it 32. With a victory for the second consecutive time against the Utah Jazz. And again, it's a double-digit victory.